Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariah and today I'm going to be doing another review. Now this time it's not necessarily a review on makeup or beauty, but it's a review on something that I use to capture that makeup and beauty. For my phone, I have the Samsung Galaxy S5 and I do feel like it takes great pictures, but from the front, the front facing camera just does not do for me what I need it to. And when I go to print out my pictures from my phone, I find that they get very pixelated and I'm just really not happy with the quality that it looks. Therefore, I started looking into a digital camera. Now, I wanted something that was gonna have a lot of settings where I can adjust the light and the contrast and things like that. I did want a camera that was going to smooth out my face, so I looked at things such as that. And then I noticed how a bunch of the new cameras are able to connect to Wi-Fi, and I thought, how cool would that be if I had a digital camera that could connect right to Wi-Fi and post my pictures straight to Instagram or Facebook? I ended up going with a camera that had that because I thought that that kind of eliminated the need to transfer my pictures and send them to my phone and then upload from there. And I'm not sure if it's just me, but I kind of feel like quality is lost when they're sent from email to phone to camera to computer and all of that stuff. So with a camera that uploads straight to the internet, you have no worries about that. It's just the picture you have and it goes straight to your Instagram from there. And I spent all this time doing my makeup to get a really gorgeous look and none of my cameras would capture that beauty of the makeup. So I was really disappointed because you spend all this time and you're so proud of your work, but then you can't even take a picture or capture how good it was to share on your sites. So for Christmas, I am so excited that my dad got me the Samsung Galaxy 2 camera. Now this is the second one. They came out with one and then this is the upgraded version from that. They did have it, I think, in black and white, and I got the white, which I think is so sleek and it fits me and my channel. And in general, I feel like it just fits me. But I do know that this, the material this camera is made out of is that kind of cracked leather looking thing. I feel like that's blinding you so you can't even see the detail. But the material that this camera is made out of is almost made to look like the DSLR cameras or a really expensive camera. So it's kind of a fake leather, maybe it's real leather, I'm not even sure totally what it's made out of, but because of all of the cracks in this design, a lot of dirt gets in there, and I have not had this for very long, and I've had to clean it so many different times. The good news is that it does come clean, I just take a very damp cloth and I wipe it off, and it comes clean. But the first couple times I used it, I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, it has makeup and black and all kinds of different things all over this camera, and it's white and it doesn't even look cute anymore. But it wipes off, so don't worry about that. I can say that this is the best digital camera that I've ever had in my life. I can't even believe the quality sometimes. There are times where it's a little bit too clear, so I mean every fine line in my face you can see sometimes on these pictures, and hey, that comes with the territory. If you want a camera that takes clear pictures, you're gonna have to get every little nook and cranny on your picture. My dad purchased this from Best Buy, and I know he purchased it around Christmas time, so there were good deals then, and probably a little bit cheaper than it is now, but I looked it up on Best Buy right now, and it cost $299.99, so let's be real, it cost $300 but I think that it is totally worth it. And I feel like that's an average price for a digital camera, but to have a camera that connects to the internet as well with that price is just amazing to me. So I got this thinking, you know, the best feature is that it connects to the Wi-Fi and that's all I need because even if it doesn't take great pictures, I don't have to transfer it and worry about all of that. Well, that was just one of the amazing things about this camera. So when you turn it on, it kind of takes a minute sometimes, which worries me, and I'm like, oh, is it broken? Is it dead? But it comes on, and then it zooms out pretty far. And the thing with this camera is it has 21 times zoom. So if you look up different reviews about this camera, which is what I did before I had mentioned to my dad how I was interested in it, a lot of people show demonstrations of how this zoom goes way in, and the picture is still crystal clear. It's kind of unreal. But another thing I really love about this camera, it has a flash that you can choose to pop up. So there is a little button on the top right here with a flash and you hit it and the flash pops up. Now a lot of cameras have this, but usually the flash pops up and then you push it right back down. But this one has a capability of bounce flash. So that means that you can pull the flash back as you take the picture and let go of it. And however you have it angled is where your light is going to bounce off of. So if you want a flash but you don't want it right at you with harsh light, you can always take this picture with the flash pointed upwards and it's going to bounce off of the ceiling back onto you for a much softer and diffused light. That is insane to me because I feel like 
I don't know if it's just me and I've been out of the technology and digital camera world for so long because I've been stuck with my old one for a long time, but I feel like that's just an awesome feature to have and it's really helped me a lot. This flash is super bright. Even in the darkest of rooms, you're gonna get a bright picture. So another thing that I like, um, I'll just go ahead and show you the overview of the camera. At the top, so you have your flash button and your flash, then you have your power button right here. And this is your um, shutter button. So you press it in to take a picture and then you can zoom it in or out based on this little dial here. So when you actually zoom it in and out, the lens, I don't know if you can see that, but the lens itself goes in and out. So for the screen, I'll go ahead and turn it around and show you the screen. So you're gonna see, you know, my background here. Um, it is a huge screen, I feel like. So I'm not sure of the exact dimensions. I'll post that all down below if you'd like to know that. It is a very huge screen and it's all touch screen, which is very helpful when you're just trying to hurry and hit buttons. But I can say sometimes it's not that helpful because if you're trying to take a selfie with this camera and you've got it on the camera and you go to hit and take a picture, you might hit the home button and then it takes you home and you don't even realize it until your lens closes back up and you're like, ah, I hit that button again. So the touch screen is a blessing and a curse, both in one, but it's very large. And then at the bottom, it just has this black area, which I think is so you can kind of hold it better without hitting any buttons. It just so happens that the button, the home button is right up top in the corner where you might need to hold it if you are taking a picture of yourself. I just think it's super neat that this camera looks basically like an Android phone, which I have an Android phone anyway, so I know exactly how to operate it. It has the exact same things that my phone has. It has the weather, it has the Google search, your gallery, your camera button, your apps, your Play Store. And the awesome thing about this is you can go to the Play Store and then you can download all of the apps that you normally have for your pictures, such as Facetune or PixArt. And then you can edit your pictures right from the camera and then upload straight to any social media sites that you want to. So the ability to just do everything all on one and not having to worry about emailing the picture to yourself or to your phone so that you can edit it and then send it back or however you need to do that is just such a convenience. And for me, that's something I was very excited about and it has proved so far to be super helpful I love that I don't have to worry about taking pictures on my phone anymore. This camera just has so many different features. I love that it does everything basically that my phone does. It can't text or call, obviously, because it's not a phone. So then on the bottom of this camera, it has the little hole here where you can use to put it on a tripod. And then you have your door where if you open it, you have your battery and you can put your SD card in. Now this one has a mini SD, so I know if you buy a bigger SD card and that's the one you use for your video camera or whatever else you have, you can use that one still. Most of them nowadays come with a mini SD along with a bigger one that's an adapter. So it fits into bigger and then you take the mini one out and you'd pop that right in here. So that's where you put that at. There is a little port in here too if you needed to transfer your picture. And then on the side where your little leather strap is, it has an area for you to charge it. And it's the exact same charger as my Android smartphone. So I have a ton of those chargers already. That makes it awesome that they're just around and handy if I need to charge it in the car or at the house. It's all available and that's something else I really love. This camera also is equipped with NFC technology, which basically it works to transfer images and files such as that to other phones or tablets that are around, even without wireless connectivity or Wi-Fi which I am really excited about, but I haven't totally figured out how to use it. I've only played around with that part for a little bit, and I know at Christmas time I was trying to send this to um, some of my friends and my sisters. I would take a picture and they're like, oh, send that to me. So I tried to send it to them through the NFC, but for some reason it wouldn't find their phone or it wouldn't connect, and I'm not sure exactly what was going on with that, but I think that all has to do with the operator. So I'm gonna read up more on the NFC and see how that works because I think that's an amazing tool that even if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can send a picture straight to somebody else right next to you as long as you have the devices close by. You can also use this to send pictures straight to your phone without wireless connectivity too, which you really wouldn't need it unless you're trying to send it through a text message or something like that for someone who doesn't have that capability with a smartphone. But the idea that you can have that at your fingertips, again, another convenience part that this camera has makes it that much more amazing. So enough about the different specs and things on that. Let's talk about the picture. The picture, like I said, is so clear. It's too clear sometimes. It's like, uh, does my face really look like that? But hey, it's all right. I'd rather it be more clear than fuzzy. So. 
that's great, but I'll just show you some different pictures on here. So this is a picture that I took today of my extensions, and this was under low light, so keep that in mind. And even with the flash, it was able to bring out all of the details. It is just very clear. You can see every strand of hair in my picture. And with makeup pictures, which is what I bought this for, you don't have to worry about the colors showing up or details getting lost in the picture because everything is so clear. And this camera really does take everything very true to color. So my skin doesn't look orange. All of the makeup colors look just like they did in person. And that's exactly what I was looking for. So here's a shot I took of some products. This was just taken on a white rug. And the description in the picture is just so clear, it's unreal. So if you see a lot of my pictures on my Instagram account lately, um, I'll put that down below where you can follow me. All of those pictures have been taken with this camera and they are so clear, it's unreal to me. Like, I know I keep saying that, but you guys just don't understand until you see it. I thought everybody else was just BSing me too when I was watching their videos on it, but it's just amazing. Here's another product picture that I took. I'll go ahead and take a picture and just show you. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but so here is me. I am talking and you can obviously see me and I'll just go ahead and pop the flash up and take a picture. So it takes it very quick. You don't have to worry about anyone moving. The picture is just so clear and it's really bright actually. So that's really awesome. Honestly guys, I can't say enough amazing things about this camera. It's absolutely perfect. It's everything that I needed for makeup. So like I said, I know when you first clicked on this, you're probably thinking that this is all techy and has nothing to do with my channel as far as beauty, makeup, and fashion. Um, but it really does, because this is exactly what I use to capture my beauty, glam, and fashion for you guys and post that on my media sites for you to see. So if you are out there and you're looking for something to really capture your work with makeup, this is a perfect camera for you. It's affordable, it's amazing, and it has every bit of the newest technology as far as the Wi-Fi and the NFC capabilities for you to buy and have readily accessible in your hands. So I can't say enough amazing things. This is my new baby. I love it. Everybody who is around me and takes a picture with me cannot believe how clear the pictures are. And even when you post them online, you don't lose that quality. And that's something I was really excited about because with my phone, I would post it and then it would look grainy and nobody likes a grainy picture, especially with makeup, let's get real. So if you came across this video because you were looking up this camera and wasn't sure and were on the fence, do it, jump the fence, go for it. You'll be so happy that you did, I promise you. And if you're looking for a camera for your beauty videos, keep this one in mind. It's a big contender and I think that it's very underrated. I hadn't even heard about it until I started doing my own research. And I can't believe that because it's absolutely incredible. So I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit and you were able to understand how amazing this camera really is. I'll link everything down below for you where I bought it from and all of the details and descriptions about the camera. And I hope that you guys have been liking my posts lately on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of that due to this camera. It's all thanks to this guy. I appreciate you guys watching this and I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you love this video and don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.